back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to add citric acid to your cold processor if you have a baking cold processor for a while uh, you have never tried adding citric acid to it uh, you need to start adding it citric acid as you all know is a, a weak acid but it's very commonly used as a preservative for food and even for cosmetic uh, products now the good thing about adding citric acid to your coat processor is that it's going to preserve it it's going to lengthen the shelf life and it's going to prevent rancidity so that's the good thing so, and it's going to make your product stable why when you had uh, citric acid to water and you had uh, sodium hydroxide to it it forms sodium citrate which i'm going to demonstrate uh, shortly it's from sodium citrate which is a very good chelator that prevents uh, binding of metal ion to your pro in your product so um, the binding of metal ion is what causes uh, rancidity in most products so when you have citric acid to your lye to your water before you add lye to it it's going to really help stabilize your soap it's going to prevent the shelf life and it's going to prevent rancidity so basically what you do is um, you don't have to worry if you have not done this before you had two percent of citric acid to your water before you la add light to it so i will demonstrate that so just measure your water that you want to use for make for making the soap okay don't worry you're going to see a lot of uh, reaction but it's something there's nothing to worry about so basically if you're making 1000 gram if your oil oil for making cold processed soap is 1000 gram all you have to add is 20 gram of citric acid so in this situation i'm going to add uh, <coughs> citric acid to the water so just keep it in my heart two percent so if you're making 1000 using 1000 gram of oil to make your soap two percent of it is going to be 20 grams so add 20 gram to your lye water you make sure you add the citric acid to the water okay <coughs> excuse me add citric acid to the water first and uh, and mix it well basically what you'll have to do is to wait for your citric acid to dissolve Once your citric acid has dissolved, the next thing you want to do is to add your lye to it. So as you can see, the citric acid has dissolved now. Then the next thing you want to do is to add your lye to it. So measure your lye as usual. And now you don't have to worry about... Um, just make sure you protect your hand, protect your... Make sure you wear uh, safety goggles as usual. So just add it to, so add your sodium hydroxide to it. So let's say this is a sodium hydroxide you want to use for soap making. You add it once the citric acid has dissolved and you mix it. Now don't worry, the bubbling reaction is normal. Now it's going to form sodium citrate. So that's my lye water added to to citric acid and and you're going to dissolve it as usual mix it as usual and you're going to get this solution if you are using <coughs> I'm going to cover this up because of the choking gas that is emitting now once you're done with that that's all you have to do as usual just uh, allow it to cool down and follow your cold process soap uh, process so go ahead right now uh, give you some time to cool down to the comfortable temperature and you can add it to your water to I mean to your oil that's perfect that's don't worry even if you see uh, a mixture or a, a thicker light water solution don't worry 
whatever you have in there is sodium citrate and that is going to be the chilito for your soap that's about it for this video give it a try and come back to this video and leave a comment and i make cold processed soap uh, my company pure blend soap we make cold processed soap a lot and we include citric acid and the good thing about citric acid adding citric acid to your water uh, is that it will act also as a preservative now if you want to now topple it up you should add sodium lactate okay add sodium lactate to this and you're good to go add sodium lactate to me sodium lactate like i said in my previous video is that you can add one teaspoon one teaspoon of sodium lactate per 1000 gram of soap okay so per 1000 gram of soap add one teaspoon of sodium lactate so you can still add it to this solution and uh, you are good to go as you can see it's a clear mixture right and that's what you want to have right that's about you can go ahead now and add this to your to your soap uh, to your oil and start making your soap if you have any question about adding citric acid to your lye water okay feel free to drop in the comment box below and i will do well to reply you at my earliest convenience this is a channel for you who want to learn about soap making i don't do a lot of soap making video on this channel but just that i give you some tips to make the best soap um, basically I do a lot a lot of skincare uh, products so this is a channel for you if you want to learn about making great and stable skincare products so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new video also if you want to learn uh, take your formulation skill to another level head over to naturalskincareschool.com and uh, join us for our exciting upcoming exciting project thanks for watching